Hi, I'm Mike Cook from artofishi.com, and I'm a flint napper. I create arrowheads and knives from stone like our ancestors did. You see, no matter what part of the world your Stone Age ancestors came from, they shared one thing in common. For thousands of years, they created tools and weapons from stone. They were flint mappers. Now, I've been pursuing and practicing this ancient skill for nearly 40 years. It began with a, a childhood fascination with prehistoric people and an appreciation for the simple beauty of rocks. Then one day, something happened that coalesced into a lifetime quest. I found a real prehistoric arrowhead laying in the dirt. From that day, I have been compelled to learn how ancient people from all over the world created such amazing things from mere stones. It began with pure trial and error, uh, you know, just experimenting. But then I was inspired by a man who I never actually met. His name was Ishii. He was the last living person of the Yahi tribe. And he came out of the Northern California wilderness in the year 1911, and for five years revealed his Stone Age skills to the few people whom he befriended. They actually watched and photographed him, a Stone Age man, practice the ancient art of flint mapping. Since that time, I have worked with many forms of flint, agate, jasper, obsidian, from all over the world, but my specialty is creating arrowheads, arrowhead jewelry, and stone knives from exotic, rare materials from around the globe. One of those materials, by the way, is the precious gemstone called opal. It is the most colorful of all precious gems, but it can be flint napped. Now, I have a weakness. I'm unable to resist those two qualities, so what I do is what only a handful of flint nappers in the world do. Practice the high risk art of creating opal arrowhead jewelry with the non-conventional method of flint napping. Now my opal jewelry is totally functional to wear, but it's not something you're likely to find in a jewelry store. My arrowheads, spear points, and knives are created primarily as fine collectibles, but are also functional for those who wish to actually experience using stone tools. I've been using them for decades, and I can tell you, to this day, it's still a rush rediscovering history. So please join me in appreciating this amazing history that we all share in common. I'm Mike Cook, and remember, the Stone Age is back.